A short and special for the bikes and quads today on the same road as the cars and trucks. 900 kilometers to cover, including two time sections of 369Ks on the WRC style tracks to Cordoba. Disaster though for Ricky Brabeck. On course for an excellent sixth place overall, the American was forced to abandon due to a battery problem. A second straight retirement for the Honda man. The overall leader, Matthias Walkner, once again staying out of trouble. With a 32-minute advantage, the Austrian is closing in on a first Dakar victory for his country in the bikes. He was happy to follow the tracks of the leading trio today, and he's now just one short stage away from Dakar glory. No doubt the three fastest riders today were thinking back to that fateful 10th stage when they all lost at least 40 minutes on Walkner. Antoine Mayo, the winner of stages six and eight, came in third, the Frenchman reclaiming fourth place overall from Gerard Farris. Well, Kevin Benavides was only 22 seconds off the race lead before stage 10. The Argentine looked like he might finally end Honda's 20-year drought in the bikes, but those navigational mistakes proved very costly. Good pace from him today, finishing second in spite of a late crash. Another excellent ride from Toby Price to take the stage win. Considering that he spent most of 2017 off the bike and had a metal rod and his femur changed in October, this was some performance from the Australian. The 2016 winner with his second stage victory of the year, his ninth at the Dakar overall. It's nice to try and um, get stage wins and uh, coming to the later of the week now and almost to the finish. At, uh, yeah, we need to try and get some and try and make some time back. So um, we're, just, we're just trying to claw back as much as we can and, and show that yeah, we've got good speed. Well, Walkner still has a lead of over 20 minutes going into tomorrow's final special. He's heading full throttle for a first Dakar victory. Price with the stage win just ahead of Benavides and Mayo. Walkner fourth and Juan Pedrero getting his best finish of the rally so far in fifth. Overall, Walkner still leads Benavides by 22 minutes and 31 seconds. The only change in the top five is that Mayo moves ahead of Farris into fourth. For the cars, the countryside for our penultimate stage of Dakar 2018 looks innocent enough, but looks can be deceptive. Martin Prokop is an early casualty, his Ford stuck in the fesh fesh, the Borgvard of Eric Weavers narrowly avoiding disaster. Elsewhere, Patrick Sirijol has beached his buggy in a tree, the crews struggle to get some traction in the sand and eventually continue. The local drivers are on form here. Argentina's finest are starting to shine near Cordoba. Sebastian Halpern keeping an impressive run of being in the top 10. And this is Lucio Alvarez pushing consistently in the top five quickest times on the incredibly bumpy stage. But the mini of compatriot Orly Terranova had a problem at the start of the stage and lost 40 minutes. Nasa Alatia stopped two in the first sector, maybe another puncture, but he's absolutely flying to try and keep the pressure on Stefan Peterhansel for second place, flat out over a blind crest toward his fourth stage win of the rally. Well, a crash for Peterhansel means he lost 46 minutes, assisted by Cyril Dupre to get going again, but the 3008 Maxi is definitely not 100%. He's slower through the rest of the stage. We broke the steering. No power steering. A disastrous day for Dutchman Bernard Tenbrinker too, looking good for a fourth place overall and on target for a second stage win, but his Toyota Hilux is hit by mechanical problems late in the day, and the crew are forced to retire from the rally. Now, Dupre stopping to help Petter Hansel exposed Carlos Sainz. The Spaniard knows he's alone out there if there's a mistake or a mechanical problem. Not ideal pressure for the driver who has failed to finish five consecutive times. Nonetheless, El Matador is safely home and on course to win the Dakar for a second time. <laughs>